Hey guys, Markeisha here. I'm here to share with you guys my Use Your Stamp Challenge entry for this week. The paper that I use is this Mint Rose or Mint Pink by Craft Smith. Very pretty papers. I know you guys are familiar with this stack. The papers are a little bit glossy, um, glossier than I particularly like, but that's okay. Really pretty papers. And so I use this. I also use this stamp set here, Hello There. And then I pulled out this stamp here that I've had in my stash forever. I used the donut hole here and um, I think, well I also used this but I didn't share it with it in this video. And I also colored this image up but I didn't share it as well. But I've had this in my stash so I was able to pull this out and you know the donuts are all the crave now. I also use these tags and they are being clearest out at Michael's for 50 cents. So I got those. I thought they were really um, cute. You can shabby chic them up or uh, whatever. And I didn't use the twine that came with it. So let me just show you what I created. I'm all about doing some packaging ideas, um, kind of, you know, get some things kind of already done for you know near swaps or whatever when I want to send stuff so that's what I focus on this week and so I made these little tags here and sorry about my voice guys I think I'm coming down with a cold um, I did do some gessoing around these tags I used my spellbinders nestability and I you know layered this paper use one of the recollections butterflies this was this little flower here was also a spellbinders die and I cut that and added some bling and just put some white seam binding I kind of left the seam binding pretty long on these tags on purpose because I want to be able to have room to you know put it to a bag or whatever that I, I need to um, add it to so that's one of them. And the other ones are pretty much the same. Probably the only difference will be the seam binding and the colors. This is a pink seam binding color. I added some really pretty, um, like a green, mint green lace here. I love this. I only got a little of this. And I really think somebody gifted this to me. Um, let me just show you. It is so pretty. So, so pretty. And so I was able to use a little bit of that in my stash. And then just some of the pleated trim at the bottom. And I colored these little donuts with my uh, Copics. And then I added some sparkle, of course, to the donuts to make them look super yummy. And um, I also added a little bit of gesso onto this tag as well. And so that tag along with this one is the same except for the difference in, you know, I added a little bit of this sparkly eyelash trim that I had in my stash, but they are, uh, you know, alike except for the paper as well. Super sparkly. These will be really quick to grab for uh, a quick thank you or, um, you know, something you need to put on a gift. This one here, um, I use some pieces of uh, ephemera or die cuts actually that I received in a swap here recently in a sweet treat swap and um, I think it was Menis Meniska I think I'm really butchering your name but I'll put her name down in the description box guys uh, she sent me some beautiful die cuts and I have them right here so let me just show you real real quick so I use these and so they are like the little plates and things and I just, you know, used uh, one of them to actually put here. So that's what I did on there. Just kind of wanted to show you guys because it's, you know, sound like I'm all over the place today. And I popped that up with some pop dots. I just put this little piece here. This, I believe, is part of a Heidi Swap uh, Project Life kit I have. And I cut this little banner out of the paper, the Craftsmith paper. And then I added some... Um, gesso as well around the you know the tags a little bit to whitewash that and put some pink um, 
pink, uh, oh gosh, <laughs> same binding to that. And that's how that turned out. So I really, really like it. Again, I think I'm really into the sweet treat, uh, you know, mindset. Excuse me. And then the other one was this really cute box that I created here. Um, I made this box um, and I just added some of the wedding sprays, some seam binding here. And then I also made, uh, you know, a... a lots of layers this is the corrugated tag and then I just nested these papers here to kind of give it a little bit dimension and then I uh, use a circle punch and punched out hello there this little heart is also from a uh, ephemera pack that I had in my stash and so then I put one of my favorite pieces of lace this is a great way to use up your little um, you know bits and pieces of lace that you have I had this little piece in my stash and I thought it would be really neat to add to the top layer so this box will be you know easy to gift a gift and it just opens up here just like this and it's a, a really neat little box you can also use this box if you wanted to put some 3 by 3 cards in here or you know charms or dominoes or any little small trinket gift you would like to send uh, to someone so these are my use your stamp um, entries for this week and this um, challenge is being hosted by um, brown baby craftaholic Steph here on YouTube and her sidekick Kim possible 64 here on YouTube as well I'll have all of the links down in the description box for you guys to go over and check it out it is super fun guys this is you know actually a personal challenge between them two and um, you know they allow us to play along and it, like I said before it gets me in the mind of pulling out old things and to keep you know my creative juices flowing and so that's why I like to participate um, in this type of challenge. Um, you don't have to send anything anywhere. You can just, you know, sit down and have creative freedom, as I call it. So thanks, guys, so much for watching. Hello to all of my new subbies. And um, also, guys, I'll have a link down in the description box. I do still have a challenge giveaway going on. Um, and I know that YouTube is doing some funny things and a lot of the videos and responses we're not getting. And so please check out that video if you would like to participate in the giveaway. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.